Hey guys, it's Mihal here and today I'm going to be talking to you about applying for a master's degree in the UK as well as the universities and courses that I'm going to be applying for for 2021 entry. If you're new here or if you haven't subscribed already then make sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell to turn all post notifications on so that you don't miss out on a single video as soon as it goes live. Without further ado let's get into today's video. If you didn't already know I'm currently a final year BSc management student at the University of Nottingham or Nottingham University Business School. Chances are you've already read the title of this video and you are wondering why isn't Nottingham included? I'm going to make a full video on this at some point but the short story is that I feel that Nottingham University has been extremely hostile towards its students during the coronavirus pandemic, quite unhelpful and student services take way too long to reply and they don't always get you what you need. Not only this, when I first joined the University of Nottingham in 2018 they were 82nd in the QS World Rankings, however now they are 99th in the QS World Rankings. So they've fallen down the rankings and I believe that with a master's degree, you should try and go for a better university than the one you attended for your undergraduate degree. And so that is why I'm not going to consider Nottingham for my master's degree and instead I'm considering Manchester, Birmingham, Warwick, and Oxford Uni, which I'll get into later on. The degree that I want to study is MSc International Relations and the reason that I want to study this instead of another business degree is because I don't feel there's much value behind studying two business degrees and instead you should try and broaden your options a bit. I know for example someone might do business at undergraduate and then specialise in a certain field for their masters such as marketing or human resource management, however during my undergraduate degree, I've learned a bit about the outside world uh, in modules such as managing the responsible business and this got me thinking, is a business degree what I want to do it for a master's degree or do I want to explore that side of like, the business world or just the world in general? And turns out that I do actually want to do an international relations master's degree. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to list the universities in order of preference, however, I am going to start by talking about why the University of Manchester appeals to me. The answer is quite simple. Manchester is a great city. Not only this, it's actually a bigger city than Nottingham and a more major city. So if Nottingham as a city was quite great until obviously the pandemic hit, I can only imagine what Manchester is like and I've heard many good things about the city itself from people who have visited and people who attend the university. Another reason why I want to apply for the University of Manchester is the academic reputation of the university. Not only is it 27th in the world in the QS World Rankings, it actually recently won the Times University of the Year for Graduate Employment. Now, if I were to get into Manchester, considering Nottingham's already in the top 10 unis in the UK for graduate employment, adding Manchester to that would be an ideal situation, especially considering it is number one for graduate employment. This is especially important because right now we are in the middle of a pandemic and the fallout of the pandemic in terms of economics and jobs is going to be massive and so I want to try and secure a degree uh, from a university that will help me get a job in an extremely competitive environment and so I want to try and make my CV the best it can be. The only downside that I can think of about the University of Manchester is that it's quite far from Dartford. Nottingham itself is quite far, it's roughly two and a half hours, three hours by train so the University of Manchester is actually further out from uh, than Nottingham and so the commute would be really long and this would mean that I wouldn't commute as much between home and Manchester meaning I'd be a bit isolated in that sense because I wouldn't be able to see family as often. However, one of my current flatmates at the University of Nottingham actually wants to study at the University of Manchester so at least I have the confidence that if we were both to get in I wouldn't be as lonely because at least I would know someone. Moving on, I'm now going to talk about why I want to apply for the University of Birmingham. Once again, the first reason is going to be the city itself. Inner Birmingham is actually quite nice despite what people might say about Birmingham. And if you've been to places such as New Street Station or the Bull Ring, you'll see just how beautiful some of the parts of Birmingham are. Not only that, my immediate uncle lives in Birmingham so it actually makes things easier for me in terms of commuting because instead of going home every, let's say, two, three weeks, I could simply go to my uncle's every weekend and this is just so convenient. But let's say I did want to go home, the journey is only two hours as Birmingham 
is actually closer to Dartford than Nottingham is to Dartford, let alone, for example, Manchester. I've actually been quite fortunate enough to walk around the University of Birmingham campus, and to my surprise, it's actually quite a nice campus. It's not quite like the University of Nottingham's campus, which I have to give that uni credit. The campus, uh, especially University Park, is beautiful, but University of Birmingham's clock tower, the fact that you have a station on campus, and just the general vibes walking around all appeal to me and this is one of the reasons that I want to apply. It's good to find a balance between a good university and a good university life and I believe that the University of Birmingham as well as the other universities on this list offer that. With a master's degree you have to fund more of it yourself and the good thing is that at the University of Birmingham the course that I want to do MSc International Relations only has fees of 10.2k whereas at for example Warwick it's almost 14k. This means that my postgraduate loan would actually cover the fees and it might even cover all of the rent because rent prices in Birmingham are stupidly low. Like I actually could not believe it when I saw some of the rent prices in Birmingham. The third university on this list is the University of Warwick. Fortunately, I've also had a chance to visit the University of Warwick campus as one of my brothers actually graduated from there after completing his master's degree. So instantly, my first reason for why I want to apply for the University of Warwick would be the campus. Whilst it's not a green university like the University of Nottingham, it's still got a very beautiful campus. In fact, the terrace on the, at the University of Warwick kind of reminds me of the Genogli Terrace at the University of Nottingham. And I know this is a bit funny, but the University of Warwick has the best Costa I've ever had across anywhere in the country. But that's not one of the reasons, that's just another side thing. The point is that the campus is just really nice and it kind of reminds me of Nottingham. I know I will end up missing Nottingham when I do graduate, so just having a bit of that feeling when going to a different university would be nice. As my brother did attend the University of Warwick for his master's degree, I do actually know more about this university from a personal perspective than I do for any of the other universities on this list. Like all of the other universities on this list, Warwick is very highly respected and especially Warwick Business School. In fact, my brother actually did graduate from Warwick Business School and he couldn't speak more highly about it. He absolutely loved it there and I did consider it for undergraduate but then I decided against it for Nottingham. However, for postgraduate, I am going to consider the University of Warwick based on what he has said. If I were to apply for Warwick University, then I wouldn't apply for international relations as they only offer it as a Master of Arts rather than a Master of Sciences. Instead, I would apply for MSc Business with Consulting. I just had to double check that as this is offered by the University of Warwick's uh, Business School, so Warwick Business School and it's a Master of Sciences rather than a Master of Arts. Not only that, consulting is actually the other path that I want to go that down. So there are two paths that I want to go down. One is working in uh, public office, well, so public sector rather, and the other is working in the private sector as a consultant, as I will have a business degree at undergraduate level and it'd be helpful to have something that focuses on consulting at postgraduate level. The only thing that worries me about the University of Warwick is that it's in Coventry and I personally don't feel that Coventry is a safe city, especially from what I've uh, heard and seen on places like Twitter and just people who go to university. In fact, at the start of the year in Coventry, there were actually more than one, I have to do signs, um, at the start of the year, like outside student accommodation, which is just scary. Imagine going to university, you settle into your university accommodation and literally one week in there's, so that's something that concerns me. And if I were to go to the University of Warwick, I'd actually choose to live in Leamington Spa instead, which although is a bit more expensive, is much nicer than Coventry. Last but not least on this list is the University of Oxford. And for the whole duration of this video, you might have been wondering, Mel, why is University of Oxford on your list? Come on, be realistic. I'll be honest with you, this is a very ambitious option and I don't expect to get an offer, let alone get in. However, for the course that I'm looking at, which is MSc Global Governance and Diplomacy, you only need a 2-1, well a high 2-1 rather, 
instead of straight up, yeah, you need a first. So there is a chance that I could get in. And not only that, because of certain prerequisites being fulfilled, I actually get the application waiver, meaning that I don't have to pay anything to apply and I save myself £75. So there is actually no harm in applying if I don't actually have to pay to apply because of those prerequisites. Not only that, because of those prerequisites as well, there are a lot of scholarships available to me that I can apply for and these are very generous in the sense that they can actually cover all of the tuition fees and tuition fees at the University of Oxford can be upwards of £20,000 for a UK student which is mind-blowing but the fact is that let's say I were to get an offer and get in and I were to get a scholarship those fees would be covered and so all I would have to worry about is rent and obviously food etc. To put it into perspective on how difficult it would be to get an offer from the University of Oxford 373 people applied last year and only 37 people got an offer. That's roughly 10% of the people that applied that had gotten an offer and even less ended up accepting that offer. So you can imagine just how extremely competitive places are at the University of uh, Oxford, especially for a course like mine where they want a 2-1 uh, rather than just first straight up, which usually suggest that the course isn't as popular as other courses. Now obviously there are other reasons for why I want to apply for these universities in particular. However, I'm going to be saving these reasons for my personal statement as I don't want to put everything into the video, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of why these unis in particular and basically just share with you what's going on with me as it is coming to that time where I'm going to have to submit these applications. In fact, over the last week, I have been working on my CV. I had an interview with a careers advisor from the University of Nottingham to talk about that as well. And right now, after this video, actually, I'm going to be writing up my uh, personal statement so that my applications are ready to submit. But that is going to be it for the video, guys and girls. I hope you did enjoy it. If you're applying for a master's degree in the UK, let me know where in the comments below and what you are applying for. I'd be really interested to see if you guys are applying for any of the universities that I'm applying for and whether it be for 2021 entry, 2022 entry or sometime even later than that. If you haven't already then make sure to follow me on my social media handles that's at Mihal Khan on Instagram, TikTok and Snapchat, at Mihal X on Twitter and official Mihal Khan on Facebook. Let me know in the comments below as well what other videos you would like to see from me I am at home as you can see, so there won't really be out and about uni vlogs as I'm not in Nottingham. However, I will be doing things such as study with, with me videos and the likes because I do have deadlines coming. The first one being at the end of this month. But that has been it guys and girls. I hope you did enjoy it and I've been Mel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.